Hey, I'm Jenny. This is Alex and Daisy. We're here in sunny Oceanside, California in our self-converted van. We have a 2018 3500 Dodge Promaster 156 wheelbase. We'd love to show you around, so come on in. Okay, let's start off in the kitchen. This is our sink. Um, it's an extra deep sink. It's a quartz um, resin mix. It's scratch resistant. It's heat resistant. We wanted to mimic a little bit the look of our old home and um, that's why we have chosen black and um, this type of sink. Um, we, in our old home we had a soap dispenser so Jenny required to have a soap dispenser. This is our faucet, what we use to wash dishes with, with and um, just other washing. This is our drinking wa water faucet, what I really like. Um, we have a UV light filter and a carbon filter under the cabinet, um, what basically filters out 99.9% .9 of um, bacteria. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about my history. So I'm from Frankfurt, Germany. I am a furniture maker by trade. Um, Jenny and I, we owned a furniture shop in Atlanta, Georgia for about 11 years. And this is what the, the experience I have in building. And this is why I made certain decisions on using certain materials. What I want to talk to you guys about, what is very important for me. On the cabinets, the cabinet frames plus the cabinet doors, we actually used balsa plywood. The, ply, the reason why I used balsa plywood is it's 80% lighter than regular plywood and it was actually a big factor for me um, building this van out. I wanted to keep weight in consideration because <clears throat> weight is a big thing on a van. It decreases your gas mileage, it's hard on your shocks, your tires, etc, etc. It, I just wanted to keep this really in consideration. Um, so on the drawer boxes we used um, a half inch Baltic birch. All the drawers have box joints. On the slides we used Bloom undermount slides. The quality is just top of the line on those slides. Um, you can't see them. They extend all the way out and they are soft close. That's, that's a very nice feature. Um, the drawers are held in by magnets so they don't pop open while we drive. This is our cooking stove. We decided to go with a two head burner. What is awesome. The big one is a little bit too powerful, but it's still good. We have a heat shield above the stove. What keeps the cabinets protected from the heat. Um, this is aluminum. And here we got our knives. What is very nice, super handy. Again, we went with black because this was our old style at our home. We wanted to keep it homey. Um, we do take those knives down while we drive because they will fall if it gets too bumpy. So here we have a large drawer where we keep all our electronics. Right here we have a spice rack where we keep all our spices and other things, daisies, dark treats, etc. And then right here we have our refrigerator. This is the Dometic. I think it's the largest one. And let me tell you, this thing is awesome. You have two um, sections of it. So you can make one section freezer, one section refrigerator. But we decided on going with both section refrigerator. We don't eat really frozen meals. And yeah, we like to, all our food, we like to cook and eat fresh. Okay, let's talk about bed and seating area design. Um, we wanted to create like a nice seating area where we can work comfortably during the day and then have a full size bed at night. The way what we came up with is this mechanism right here, where this is actually the back of the seating area and you just fold this up and there's a ledge, you click in 
And then you have your cushions laying right here, what you just slide in, one on this side. And there's your full-size bed. We have two max air fans. One is back here, one is in the front for good circulation. And we have a skylight right here. What is super awesome, we can see the stars from when, while we lay in bed. Um, it does have a blackout curtain if it gets too bright outside and it has a mosquito net as well. Um, when we do want to have movie night, here's our projector screen where we just pull down. And then this is our projector. This is the only USB chargeable projector what we could find at the time. That's why we went with this one. And on back behind it, we have our GPL speaker, what's basically our surround sound. Very awesome. I'm going to show you how the divider wall works. You simply drop it down. This creates your light and thermal barrier. The material we're using is an insulating fabric that you would typically find in jackets. And we are using heavy duty zippers. We are very excited about this prototype. We're going to continue to work on it and perfect it. We do know there's a need for it in the van life community. So please be on the lookout for it. We're going to have it for sale on our website very soon. So this is our larger cabinet. Um, up here we have extra storage for hanging clothes, etc. A um, couple more drawers. And down there is our nature head toilet. You basically just pull it out. Um, I know this thing is a little bit expensive, but it's awesome. It's ventilated, it separates the urine from the poop. Um, we use it quite a bit, to be honest, and I would put it in my next build again. Welcome to our garage. And there's Stacy. So in the garage we have an outdoor shower where we easy hook up to our water pump right here. You're carrying seven water bricks in total so it's approximately 27 gallons of fresh water what we have. Lots of storage bins we try to be organized. Um, yoga mats, like hammock, chairs, tables, over here is Daisy's food. Um, and then let me show you guys the fun part. Here it is. This is all our electronics. So we have the MPPT Victron charge controller. We have the white boxes are the light zones. We have three light zones inside of the van fuse box shut off and then on the right side is our power inverter we have a 2000 watt inverter um, those bad boys down there is two 200 amp hours of lithium life pro 4 what is plenty of power then we have a protection cage what we made to protect all the electronics from in case we would get in an impact and stuff would slide forward. The reason why we went with lithium is one is 400 amp hours of lithium is 400 amp hours of battery power what you have versus um, acid if you have 400 amp hours you basically have only 200 usable amp hours. Um, the big thing with lithium for us was as well weight because they weigh only a third of regular batteries so and like I talked about weight earlier it's a big concern for me so I wanted to keep the weight down um, yeah really good batteries so we went with 38 inches total height from uh, from top to bottom on our garage um, 
that gave us enough clearance on the top. I'm super happy about it. I would do exactly the same size of garage again in the next build. Um, I'm going to close it up and let's hit up on the roof. Welcome to the roof. So as you can see, what we talked about earlier, we have two max air fans, skylight, and we have two 310 watt LG Neon, Neon Technology solar panels. They, had a, they have a very good efficiency rate. Um, we have them now for six, six months approximately, and they are performing just amazing we I mean we always get a charge with those panels and finally um, here's our 8020 roof rack what we designed ourselves because of the layout what we had I couldn't find any roof racks for um, pre-made ones so we decided on making our own Thank you guys for checking out our van. We're gonna watch a movie. Please feel free to reach out to us on our Instagram at noivan.adventure. That's N-E-U van.adventure. And until next time, we'll catch you on the road. Bye.